Well, my friends, Fort Lauderdale 2023. Guys, I'm a persist I'm a persistent fellow. Guys, I waited for a while. This boat had tons of people and we're here in Fort Lauderdale 2023 boat show. Limitless in the house. Wow. How you doing? How you doing? Good, man. I am so excited. I was I was walking and I was like, what is this? And I hadn't seen this boat ever, ever. So is this your first time at the show? What's this going on? This is. This is our international debut. So I'm really happy to say that of 1,300 boats here, we're one of eight finalists for best in show. Nice. Congrats on that. So introduce you tell yourself to my audience so they know who you are. Hi, I'm Bob Verdun, president of Limitless Seas. Okay. This is our 45 foot XLV. So this is the smaller of the three that you're making. Is that what I heard earlier or no? Correct. Yeah, we have a 45 foot, a 54 foot and a 65 foot. All right. Um, that's a little high for me to jump on, but I'll try. Watch this. Wait a second. One of the cool features we have is our rear platform. First in the industry, I believe. It goes up where you saw it. It goes down underwater about three or four feet. And it has integrated stairs. What are you? We're fighting over the seat cushions to get on and off the boat. You notice we have these massive side terraces. They fold down on both sides. Okay. Sunbed. Just like that, quick. Just like that. Now you have a place to lay out in the sun. Underneath here is storage. This all lifts up and easy access for maintenance under the lower. So you have some huge 600s here on there right so 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 he he's manipulating he's bringing it up and down and that's the stairs if you had a higher dock you wanted to go to you can just put it up step off the dock for a high dock it goes three feet underwater so you can walk into the water instead of climbing off the bottom what's the beam on this this one is 12 foot three and what about with these wings out? What are you talking about? 15? 16, 16 four. 16 feet. 16 four. Wow. So there's a, there's a dance party on this boat. Uh, more than once already. All right. Um, okay. So let's start back here and let me know what we got going on. We got some twin 600 Mercury's. Twin 600 Mercury's that lets us cruise at 40 miles an hour. Top speed, 55 miles an hour. 55 miles an yeah, hour, so guys. get there in a hurry. We also offer the new Mercury V10 400s. Okay. Either two or three of those. 500s on these boats, have you spec'd them out yet or no? Uh, we haven't, but we'll be putting those on too. Yeah, I th they're talking about them. Yeah, no, they'll be on here. So uh, is this a customer's boat or is this boat for sale? Boat. It is, okay. Yep, it's for sale. It is for sale, okay. Why me? Why me is the name, right? Yeah, uh, rear sunshade comes out. Uh, the seats are pretty cool because they're flexible. You see this one is all against the transom. I see that. You hit a button, they move in. This one's moved in. So you can bring the seats together, have lunch, dinner. You can put them apart like they were. You have a, a lounge area. Yes. And then the table goes into the floor, so you have a dance floor. Wow, so it's super modular. He's just touching buttons and moving things. And here. That's so wild. And I have a dining layout. That is crazy. I love that. So a lot of flexibility to it. So up here we have a 42-inch pop-up TV. So you don't have to miss the race because you're on the boat. You don't yeah. watch the game because you're on the boat. Yeah, Pops you- Pops up right here. Sink, barbecue grill, two huge refrigerators, freezers, ice makers. So standard is one refrigerator. Here you can put refrigerator, freezer, ice maker. And they really hold a ton of stuff. Uh, for those who use their boat a lot, storage under there, storage under here, storage under there. Drawer storage here, storage under these seats. So plenty of places to put your spare club soda, your bottles of water, whatever you need. Guys, the wind at this show is incredible. If there's a little bit of wind on his mic, we'll try to see what we can do, but it's not a problem. We, we can, if not, we'll get the audio from mine. So beautiful, beautiful. I mean, I'm loving this. It's so spacious. I mean, we got a lot of uh, space here. Tell me a little bit about the helm. So this is our 23 model, uh, carbon fiber, uh, Formula One inspired carbon fiber halo, joystick, bow thrusters. One of my favorite things are these zip wake automatic trim tabs. Yes. So with the zip wake and the automatic trim tab on the motors, you never have to touch the trim. I've had, personally, I have over 100 hours driving these boats. I've never touched the trim controls one time. Really? Close automatic. Level. Nice. All automatic. That's um, super convenient. We went yeah. with much bigger screens on the 24 model. Okay. So 
We have a 16 inch and larger screens available on the 24 model. Seakeeper is an option on this. Seakeeper is an option. Fusion stereo throughout. Little details that I think are really important. So if you can take a look here. To me, when you look at a lot of the speakers on pretty much every boat, they look like an afterthought, right? They tack down a speaker on the side of the boat. Yeah. Ours are all flush mount. So we went with white here to show them off, but all of our speakers are flush mount. So if it's white or this can be color matched, yeah. now you don't have speakers hiding all over the place. It just makes it a nicer look. Nice, nice and clean. Yeah. Very clean. We have these cool pop-up lights. We have these storage compartments with chargers. So you have a place to put the keys because everybody's going to have keys and cigarettes and old phones and stuff. They're going to be bouncing all over your, your boat. Yes. We have a nice place to put them. Tell me a little bit about this top, this hard top. We have a huge sunroof up top. So you can enjoy the stars or the, the sunshine or you can get rid of it, whatever you prefer to do. You can see it's very spacious. Folds up nice and neat so it all tucks in so you don't have to hear the flapping. I had a, a 75 foot boat with a roof like this mm -hmm. and the way they set it up every time you drove it all you could hear is the fabric clapping. I hate yeah. that. This one you'll find all tucks up nice and neat, no wind, no noise. And look, you don't even see it. Where, where are they making these? Uh, these boats are made in Antalya, Turkey, and we're going to have a second manufacturing operation in the U.S. by next year. Ah, awesome. I love this. This is a beautiful boat, dude. Guys, this, look at this. This is so elegant. And I, I really love the, the fact that you can come in the way that you, you just brought that platform back. And, and it goes into the water as well, right? If you wanted to, to maybe be in a sandbar. Look at this, guys. Look at this. That's so wild. I'm just blown away by that. Yeah, it's great for high docks, especially, you know, the ladies get all dressed up for dinner. They don't want to be climbing over the seats. They want to be able to walk off graciously. Or if anyway, they have a skirt that's kind of small. Which you hope so. Exactly. Well, yeah, you hope so. But, but it's a problem for some of the ladies, right? Sure if there's a couple of people on the other side, you're like, wait a second, I'm, I'm going to have a wardrobe malfunction exactly. here. Exactly. This boat fixes that, ladies. Exactly. And we haven't even gotten into the cabin. That's right. <laughs> all right. All right, let's go ahead. No, we, we'll give them the cabin last. Yeah, let's give, let's give them the cabin last. Let's go, let's go to, to the front of the boat, guys. Let's go towards the bow and talk about this. All right, I'm already seeing some high rails. Uh, a lot of uh, nice high gunnels here. A lot of freeboard. I like that. Feel, safety, that yeah, way. very safety, right? So you can hold on and listen, this is like to the size of my hip. Well, the nice thing too is the way it's set up. From the side, you don't see it. We keep the nice lines on the boat, okay. but you still have a very usable rail. Yes, that's you important. Your fingers, not a Especially lot of if it's there. rough. Like today, if we were out on the water, it'd be messy. Today. It'd be messy. Yeah, it'd be really rough. Okay, so tell me what we got going on here. Yeah, some fusion stereo. Okay. Some controls up here. Uh, the 24 model has charging ports as well. We have another pop-up table. So just like before, it disappears into the floor when you don't want it. Yes. Sunbed. And Let then room that. for, depending on how close you are with your friends, four or five people up here. Just, yeah, I, I can see this as a, an area to have a couple drinks, have a couple conversations, just, you know, shoot about the day, all the crazy things that happen. We have a, we have a windlass here. More of these cool pop-up lights that everybody loves. For the night. It's a funny option on these things. I bet 80% of the boats we've sold have these lights on. Everybody loves these lights. Uh, anchor controls here, huge storage space here. You could, uh, we always joke, you could smuggle 10 people from another country down here. It's huge storage, it's about six feet deep right here for storage. Well, it's gonna be kind of loud because the speakers are down there flush as well. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Guys, if you're gonna smuggle people, just let them know the speakers might get a little loud. Exactly. All right, um, this, can this go all the, all the way to the floor? It does. You open that hatch and this disappears into the floor as well. So it's flush with the floor. It goes under the floor. This oh, compartment it, it, opens up and it goes, it goes under the floor. Under the floor. Yeah. Interesting. I can't stand those ones where you walk on the table because yeah. I don't want to eat off where my feet were. Yeah. So we have ours under a compartment so that way you're not walking on it. Awesome. I like, I like that. Tell me a little bit about this windshield. So this is a 23 model, the 24 model, the glass is higher and, and the, the profile is thinner, so you only have a smaller gap. Okay. That's wind. Yeah. We also offer one in full glass. Nice. We also offer a boat with that's a crossover, so the glass goes all the way to the gunnel okay. and wraps around the side of the boat. So in the crossover model, the glass would go all the way to the back, mm -hmm. so you have three sides of glass. Uh huh. And with three sides of glass, you have all the wind protection, but you can still open up this, open up this, and then we have five and a half foot windows on the gunnels that go down like a car window. Nice. So you can actually open it all up or close it all up depending on your mood. 
All right, so now let's give them what they're gonna want to see. All right, let's go. Let's go into the cabin, guys. All right. Get some white on here. Look at this, guys. Come Welcome on. aboard. Limitless. Let's All right. Start in here. So we have a full head in here. Full shower. Okay, let's see this. Your camera angle will work. Yeah. Listen, this might be the thumbnail. Full shower, how you doing? <laughs> okay, so you have a head in there and you also have the shower in there as well. Full shower. Yeah. Here you can close it up for a mirror, open it up for a window. Yes, I like that. So your standard sink toilet shower. It's incredible how you can just go ahead and turn that into a mirror like that. Isn't that great? So different, dude. When my you... wife first saw this boat, she said, there's no mirror. <laughs> yes, there is. Yeah, I'll tell you, that. that's super creative. Way to maximize the 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 space on the boat, right? I like that. I love the finishes in here as well. It's beautiful, guys. Um, so so let me go. Yeah, so slide in there and let me know what we got going on in here. Yeah. So down below, you can see plenty of room to lounge around. You can probably have five, six people down here. Um, this folds back. Cable goes down. Cushion comes out, and it's a little bit bigger than a queen size bed. I see so that. Plenty of room down here. This table folds open, and there's a pin underneath. Now you have a full-size table if you want to have a meal down here. Wow, so you guys have really thought of it all. You're maximizing space, left, right, everything. We think so. Here's an optional, this boat doesn't have it, but an optional pop-up TV. Okay. A 32-inch pop-up TV. And you can't see it on camera, but by your hip is another drawer fridge. And it's also here, kind of hidden away. And here's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Point it out the window. Oh, and you can see to the other side. I love so because that. Because of the way we placed our windows, you get a tremendous amount of natural daylight in here. So you don't feel all claustrophobic. You get to look out the windows. Tons of I, light. I love that. And right now you really can't appreciate it because you got another boat next to you. But if you're in the open ocean or in a nice it's blue clear skies. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful blue waters and you know it's just beautiful. Yeah. Great visibility from I, in here. I love that. I love that. Um so any storage back there i see that you're using some little bit of storage back here yeah there's storage back here there's storage behind here okay and then there's, there's some small compartments here awesome okay what are some of the standard features or or things that you think people might want to obviously a sea keeper is an option is there different configurations or layouts that are different from the one that they're seeing in this video Correct, yeah, so this is the lounge seating that converts to a bed, so our convertible version. Okay. Uh, you can also get a dedicated bedroom down here on our coupe and crossover models. Okay. So the difference is this uh, sidewall goes to the gunnels, so you get another foot and a half, two feet of space here. So that gives us room for a real mattress, storage on both sides, or a much bigger lounge area that converts to a bed. It's almost a king size bed if you want the convertible option. So that you have a couple different options down here depending on how you use your boat. Okay, so let's talk about the meat and potatoes because everybody's going to want to know how much, how they're much? Free. Uh, yeah, they're free. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> guys, signing uh, off. Yeah, signing off. I'm getting all the ones that are being made for the next year. <laughs> I'm Listen, in my in my all years, I'm just going to start the video. They're free. And just be like, guys, here's the website. Call them. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, it's being announced this Friday. I'm the president of Limitless Seas. I'm probably getting fired now. Yeah, <laughs> you were hired and now boom. Uh, yeah, so uh, you can get a nicely equipped boat for about 900000 It actually starts at $850,000. So and under a million. Under a million. In fact, I sold one today that was uh, $950,000. Very nicely equipped. If you check every single box on the box on the option list, okay, all of them about a million two, which is very competitively priced. How long is it taking for somebody to make a move, right, to get their boat? How long is it from production to to the time they they receive the actual boat? Right it now, it really depends. Like if you want it right now today, you're probably gonna get a boat in June. Okay. Uh, if it, again, we're we're probably gonna sell five or ten boats. So less second. than a year. Less than a year. Less than a year. We're, okay. we're always shooting for six to eight months is what we're trying for. Right now we're backed up further than that. And you said you're going to be making some of these in the States as well. Correct. Yeah, we hope it, we were planning on launching uh, production facilities in the U.S. Uh, mid-year next year. That's awesome. That's great news for for Americans, right? Yeah. More American jobs and, you know, that's that's awesome. Yeah, and for us it's capacity. We, we, we're, really, uh, uh, we're really way ahead of our sales plan. So with our European dealers that we've already set up, that's going to take most of the turkey production by itself. 
and, and we need boats here as well, so we're gonna have two manufacturing facilities. That one will service Europe and the US one will service US. What what buyer is gravitating to, towards limitless? What 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 are you seeing? Like people are are they going from bigger boats to smaller boats that have these amenities or or smaller boats going to bigger boats? What 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 yeah, buyer? That's a are great you, question. Actually. Yeah, because really I'm interested to see where where the market is for this, right? Because obviously the boat is is is, is beautiful, right? But I want to know where they're what what the thought process are they saying i don't need such a big boat anymore i have all these amenities on something like this i can still party i can still dance i get it for free <laughs> <laughs> so that's a very astute question there's, there's a couple categories of buyers that we're finding are the most so if you think of it most center councils are used as day boats right almost all of them yeah center councils were born as fishing boats they really haven't changed that much. Yes, nicer finishes, more speakers, things like that. Mm -hmm. And certainly they go a lot faster than they used to. Yeah. Uh, but they look the same. They're built the same, the same basic layout for it. Yeah. We started day one thinking, how do people use their boats? Okay. And optimize for, I'm gonna bring a bunch of people in day boat. I wanna go there, I wanna have a great time, I wanna be luxury, I wanna be VIP. So a lot of our customers are coming from high-end expensive center councils, formulas, HCBs, things like that. And they want something that's more luxurious, a, a nicer quality, uh, nicer, nicer in terms of the aesthetics and look and feel of it. So they the, wanna, and they want to make an impression. They want you to show up and they'll say, "Wow!" I mean, just like when you walked up with yeah. Bruce Matt, "Wow!" Right? Yeah. It, it, well, well listen, want. when I when I first walked in to the show and I said I said I was going to keep on walking, I said, "Wait, time out." <laughs> I got to try to see what's going on. There was a bunch of people on the boat. I was like, "This might not happen today," but you know, we ended up talking. I'm glad that you. He didn't recognize me, guys, but he recognized the power of a camera, and I and I explained that to him, right? So, um, very, very, um, I'm, I'm very impressed with your 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 boats. I hope to see you guys in other shows. Are you guys going to be in in the Miami show next uh, year or yeah, no? We should be in Miami and Palm Beach both. We'll be in uh, the Con and, and uh, Monaco shows. We'll be all over the place. So, what was the draw to name the company Lim Limitless? Interested in that. Limitless life, baby. Limitless is where it comes from, right? Okay. There are no limits, right? So yeah. limitless, limitless seas is the company name. I like that. All right, guys. Well, listen up. I want to thank everybody here at Limitless. Thank you, guys. I got my free boat. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Do I have to sign anything or no? We're it's just, just, it's just a handshake, guys. <laughs> I'm out here. I'm from Mother Megan. See you as always. I'm out of here. <laughs>